So someone requested that I just make a really, really simple, just, we're just going to make a cube and make it move with the arrow keys. So first to set up the scene, let's go game object, 3D object, plane, game object, 3D object, cube. And then with the cube selected, I'm going to go to the inspector and move its Y position to 0.5. I am going to create a light directional light. I am going to go to the project window and just create a material for the cube and a material for the ground plane and go to I guess I'll just drag them right on. So I'm going to make the ground and cube just different colors. And just drag them right on. Drag. And in my directional light, I am going to turn on some shadows. Just so it looks kind of nice. Now, I'm going to create a script for the cube to control it. So, we'll create a C sharp script. I'm just going to call mine cube. Select the cube. Drag the script onto the cube double click this, the cube script and so by default it has a start thing and an update loop so the start whatever you put inside these curly braces will happen once at the start and whatever you put in the curly braces in the update loop will happen every single frame over and over and over again so to test out the start we're going to go print Yo, I'm a cube. Save that. So it's inside quotation things. You have to have this semicolon thing at the end. That's like a period at the end of a sentence. And when you play the game, in the console window, it'll say, Yo, I'm a cube. And it happens one time. But if you have that same code inside of the curly braces for the update, it should happen every single frame over and over and over again. It says you own a cube over and over and over. So we want to put code inside that update loop that will move the cube. So you can comment this out with a two backslashes, just comments out the line so that it doesn't do anything. And we can just leave it there for later. So to move the cube, we're going to use transform.translate translate. and you put a vector 3 which is an x, a y, and a z position. Or it's the amount that we're going to move it in the x, and then the y, and then the z. So we're going to move it 1f, this is the x, we're going to move it 1 in x, and we multiply that by time dot delta time. And then we're just going to put 0 for the other one. So the little f just means it's a float, which is a number that has decimal points in it. And the multiplying it by time dot delta time makes it so that if your computer runs really fast and there's lots of frames happening or if your computer runs really slow and there's not very many frames happening it figures out that difference and it moves at the same amount no matter what speed your computer is kind of running at. So we'll save that and in the update loop it's going to read this line every single frame and it's going to move him one. And so this code is on the cube, so that's why transform is the cube's transform. Right? So it's it's a component of the cube. So we're moving the, the parent, the cube. So we press play, it should move to its right. So it's move, moving plus one times time dot delta time. So if that was a minus, we'll move the other direction, right? And if you want to make it move up, you would just 
put that in the y. So this is this is the, the x right here, right? But the middle one is the y. So we're gonna move it, I'm gonna move it one in the y so that it should go straight up in the air. So what we want to do is control the cube instead of just making it move on its own. So I'm going to comment that out for now. So to control the cube, we will go, go to Edit, Project Settings, Input. And you can see there's all these inputs that are here by default. So there's a horizontal. So that will be if you press left or right on the arrow keys or if you press A or D, or if you had a controller and you pressed left or right on the joystick, those will all go into this horizontal thing. And there's also a vertical. So we're going to use those. So in the code, instead of printing yo I'm a cube, let's get the input 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 get axis horizontal. Let's save that. And so now this console thing is spitting out zero, but if I press left, it's minus one. And if I press to the right, it's positive one. So the the x-axis, the horizontal thing, that variable, horizontal, is with whatever direction we're pressing. So if you were to change that to vertical, instead of left and right, it would be the up and down keys. So it's getting 0, when I press up, it goes to 1, press down, it's minus 1. So we want to use that to translate him. So instead of 1 times time dot delta time, let's also move that into the, the x position that we're changing. Right? x, y, z. So x is the first one. So let's use input dot get access horizontal instead of the 1. So it'll be either 1 or 0 or minus 1 or something in between based on what direction we're pressing. Save that. And when I press left, it moves to his left. Press right, it moves to its right. So if we wanted to move forward and back, you would do the exact same thing except in the Z position and with, uh, with the vertical input. So we can just paste the same thing in, change it to vertical, and we're, we're over in the Z, so that's all we, all we have to do. So now I can move forward, back, left, right. So now he's moving really slowly. So above the start thing, we're going to put public float. Float is a, the, the number that has decimal points in it. Um, move speed, which is just a word that we just made up. And then inside the start, we're just going to set the move speed to, well, it's 1 right now. And we are going to Use, we're going to multiply all these things by the move speed as well. So, so transform.translate move speed times input dot get access horizontal times time dot delta time for the x. And the same thing for the z and y we just left at zero. So the same thing for the Z except vertical. 
and since we're using this, since this is a public variable, now we can see it, it'll appear in the editor. So I have my cube selected. Now there's a move speed over here. And when it starts, it'll change it to a 1. So when I press play, move speed is 1. Click on the game window, and I can move them around. But now I can change this number in the editor and then move them around and it moves a little bit faster. So now we can we can find whatever number we like by just playing around with it. And so now that we know that we I like 10, I'm just going to put 10 right here. So now it's going to default to 10 when you start the game. And there you go. Making a cube move around with the arrow keys.